I may. Sure. So, I just just curious, how many people? Well, first and foremost, you know, thank you again for for, for changing my life and all you do and Hex Worker. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Um, how many people or users would it take? on the Polish chain to actually clog the network up? Is it millions? Is it hundreds of millions? Well, I know that Ethereum used to, in 2017, be able to do a maximum of 1.5 million transactions per day. And then, or at least that's the most it ever did, like 1.2 to 1.5 million. Now, this question is rather hard to answer because not every user is the same weight. And so like in Bitcoin, if you're spending unspent transaction outputs that have a lot of inputs, it takes up a lot of space and kilobytes and it fills up the block. It has a 1.4 megabyte maximum block weighted. Most people think it's one megabyte, it's not. It got increased to 1.4 after waiting. Uh, and it should have been increased a lot more by now, but those guys suck. They're just not good. They don't, they don't know what they're doing. And then on the Ethereum side, those guys know what they're doing better. So they've increased their throughput over and over and over again, where Bitcoin has not. And even though they've increased the throughput over and over and over again, the gas prices went up a thousand X. So, you know, that's why we're building the extra capacity to help Ethereum get its fees down and to give everyone the world's largest free airdrop and enable a lot of coins that are priced out of the market right now. So in Ethereum, they've had increases in the gas amount that you could use per block. And so the average block time is 13 seconds, but the amount of gas that you could use in each block, they've kept increasing. And so because of that, the amount of throughput may be two or three fold higher than it used to be. So whereas you might be able to have a maximum of 1.5 million transactions back then, you know, you could have more now. But the issue is maybe now the average transaction is more gas intensive because we've got Uniswap, but we didn't have it in 2017. And you've got, uh, you know, these NFT mints and all, and you've got hex and you've got things that just do real more computation intensive stuff than just sending ERC twenties around. And so, you know, the, the extra gas that those transactions use may reduce the number of people that you can serve. But so, so let's just take Ethereum as a baseline, wherever Ethereum's at hex has a multiple more users that can serve because instead of having thir not hex, sorry, pulse chain, pulse chain has three second block time instead of 13 seconds, which allows us to serve at least four times as many people just from that parameter. And also because we've got, uh, proof of stake instead of proof of work, we can increase the gas limit maybe up to 10x. So you could have 30x the throughput on Pulse Chain, I think, that you have on Ethereum currently. 